there, editing cousin here, and welcome back to Always Doing. In my last wrap up, there's a book that I talked about for so long, it's deserving of its own standalone review. So here you are. First up is a hockey romance, which I don't read too many of, actually. Uh, sometimes because I can't really trust the authors to know what it's like to be a major league hockey player and everything that goes into it, but. This is Rookie Mistake by Anna Zabo and L.A. Witt. It's the first book I've read by Witt, but I know Zabo really knows their hockey. So I had a lot of trust going into this, and it turns out it was well-placed, and there's quite a romance here on top of it. The book is based around a pro team in Pittsburgh, and it's technically it's not the NHL, they're not the Penguins, I think for copyright and trademark issues, but it feels like the NHL in the level of play and just everything else going on. We have Isaac Rivera. He's a rookie. He came directly from college, so this is a huge skill jump for him, and he's having problems adjusting to the faster level of play. And not only that, he's on this team with all of these superstars that he has been looking up to, including Julian Landry, who is a defenseman, and he is one of the heartthrobs. Like, he's been seen around town with all different kinds of people, uh, but hasn't stuck to anyone in particular and it turns out they have a great connection on the ice and if you watch hockey you've seen this sometimes where there's players that can just it seems like they can read each other's minds do these no look passes set each other up for amazing goals and these two have that connection on the ice pretty early on and it turns out they have a connection off the ice too thing is though is that julian has had some bad relationships in his past and i'll have the content notes down below if you would like to know more and they are also in the book which i really appreciate right in the front and uh isaac he's not very sexually experienced at all and he that bothers him and he's worried about being with landry who obviously has had sex with lots lots, lots of people it's like a well-known fact in the league um he has all kinds of worries about that and that's where the book starts now this is a long book it's over 500 pages i think it fits its pages pretty well. What I think is interesting is that like every scene has a purpose. So even in the beginning, like when things are coming together, you understand why all this stuff is there. It builds character. It tells you more about the situation, etc, etc. At the same time, I'm wondering if we needed every single one of those steps. I think maybe one or two could have been jettisoned and the book would be a little bit tighter and a little bit easier to get through. But it doesn't, it's not even like the book falls into stages. There's a really nice progression because in the beginning, it's these two coming together and whether they're like, oh, we're teammates and going out with somebody on the team, probably not the best idea. What is coach going to think? What is the rest of the team going to think? Do we want to be out to the entire league or do we just want to keep this more private between us? How do we want to handle this? And all of those kinds of issues and things are closer to the front of the book. And then closer to the end of the book, I'd say maybe the last third, we really get into Julian's everything that happened to him before in his past relationships and how that's affecting him now and how he wants to, how he can maybe work through that because it is a lot. And Landry keeps all that bad stuff that happened to him in his past a secret from Isaac. And normally I don't do secrets so well in romance, but I liked the way it was handled here. and because it's a really big thing. It's not something you tell somebody a few months after you've met them, it's big. And he hasn't even told his best friends all of the details. They just have a really vague idea of what happened and find out more only later. So it makes a lot of sense that he's holding it. Like, I don't blame him. I wouldn't have come out with that or so early either. I love that communication is key, not only within the relationship, but in other ways as well, between different players on the team. Isaac has a best friend back home that he'll FaceTime every once in a while, and they have great conversations that I appreciated. And within the relationship, because Landry likes some kink in the bedroom, and Isaac doesn't have much experience, and so he's trying to be like a little bit more dominant for the first time, and a lot of communication has to go into that. I like the way that was done. Julian is from Quebec, and his first language is French, and that's talked about a little bit in the story, and he'll come out and just speak some random French introductions from time to time, and I love that they're not in italics. There's no reason to put foreign languages in italics. You do not speak in italics in a foreign language. You just speak. And so loved that. I also loved that there's a little French joke in here. If you know, like I took French in high school and I was able to catch it and it just it made me happy. It felt like a little Easter egg. I love that the bulk of the conflict is outside of the relationship. And in the beginning, it's more of whether they're 
they'll be accepted by their team, by the public at large. And later it's Julian dealing with all of this stuff that happened in his past, which is quite a lot, and having Isaac there to help him, to support him, to be with him so they can get through it together. And I love that when the love interests are working together for a common goal at the end of something instead of a third act breakup. So there isn't a third act breakup, but there is a third act break down. One of the characters has a breakdown. And when that happened, I didn't 100% buy it, but after I saw more and realized more of the reasons for it, which were kept as a secret from us, the reader as well, I was more and more okay with it. But when I just when I hit that point, I was like, I don't know, and it turned out to work out very, very well. And as a related point, I really like that whenever there is something really anxiety inducing that happens in the book it's resolved within the next chapter and that just it makes me feel comfortable knowing that i can go in and even if something angsty happens i won't have to deal with it for 10 chapters it will be resolved fairly quickly the thing is though is that if you have no knowledge of the game of hockey i don't know if this is a great book to start with it doesn't have a hockey 101 in it a lot of the behind the scenes stuff is explained uh, some of the vocabulary that casual fans may not know like dasher boards that's explained but the basics of the game are not so be aware of that also be aware that almost every player and at least all the main ones we have, which are there are four, the two love interests and two best friends, they uh, they have like three nicknames each. And sometimes it's a nickname that the whole team uses. Sometimes it's a special nickname that only this guy uses with this guy. And it took me a while to get them all in my brain. Overall, I really liked this just as much as I thought I would. Four stars. Uh, Ana Zabo is one of my favorite romance authors, so that wasn't really a surprise. And I want to read more by Wit now. I can't quite recommend it to everyone because I think you should have a basic knowledge of hockey and the content notes are there so just be aware of all that but if you're looking for a romance that is a little bit longer is a little bit more to get into and has a storyline that goes through several phases it's not just ending with the relationship as the goal like they get together pretty early in the book and it's all the stuff after that that makes it so interesting so anyway it was my kind of thing if you've come to the end of the review thinking that maybe Rookie Mistake isn't for you, you're not sure, may I recommend some other Anazabo books? I would recommend more by Wit, but I haven't read any Wit, so I don't know. But for Zabo, they have a Twisted Wishes series, which is contemporary first book syncopation, that is about a queer rock band, and I love this whole series, especially the third book, but the arc of character development is also important, so start with the first, it's also very good, syncopation. Also the best anaphylactic attack rep I have yet to see in fiction so excellent for that and if you're looking that's light 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 kink and if you're looking for something with much more kink there is cinnamon roll which is about it's an MM relationship to you guys and I love it it earns its title anyway if you've read this book if you'd like to read this book if you have any questions about this or anything at all let me know down in the comments below thank you for watching subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video bye Thank you.